Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name is Cougar and this is another episode from the Bespoke Post series. And of course those are about products from BespokePost.com. And uh, we've got, of course, another box today. Now, as you can see, this is a large box here. We're kind of staying on a cooking theme, it seems like. Uh, here, the stuff that they've had out recently, uh, the cooking stuff seems to be where I've, uh, I've seen a lot of things that uh, are, are stuff that we might use a little more often. So uh, let's go ahead and open it up and find out what we've got inside. All right, everybody. Well, here you go. As you can see, this is uh, just one product in this one, but of course it is a fairly large product. Uh, now, this uh, overall product box is uh, called Grilled, and uh, let's just mention the, uh, the little quote they have on the back. Summer isn't the only time you should be able to grill up a meal. And absolutely true. Uh, who wants to be doing all that out in the rain? Uh, it's still a little still a little chilly and uh, still a little rainy and stuff like that where I'm at and so definitely being able to do some grilling inside is uh, beneficial all right so here it is out of the box and uh, first things first of course we do have the the book that comes with it the instruction guide and of course this has the information on it uh, uh, now it does have uh, some some information some safety guards uh, there are uh, so it suggests for household use only and uh, so on and so forth and then it just gives you uh, a couple little pieces of information about features and uh, operating instructions and so forth. Uh, now this does have a handful of parts just like most of them do. Uh, this one's designed differently than most I see. Usually what it is is you've got the grill surface and the grill surface is one solid piece of metal. Um, uh, maybe some might be cast, some are, uh, are, are Teflon coated uh, types of, of steel uh, or, or some other type of metal. And uh, usually what you have is uh, some type of thing where it kind of plugs in and snaps together and it, and it creates a couple of hot points on the thing that heat up the entire unit. This one's a little bit different, whereas this one is just a tray. And it is a thin tray, and as you can see, it does have the openings there so that the uh, meat juices and, uh, and things like that can drip down through, whereas some of the other ones just have the, the fins across them so that uh, it runs down underneath the food. Uh, a lot of ones that I've used before are not really that great at uh, kind of channeling all that, uh, the fat and everything down through there. Usually it kind of pulls up underneath and then just builds up a, a big block of burnt gunk by the time you're done grilling everything. Uh, now, the nice thing is, is this is dishwasher safe, so you can take this and throw it in the dishwasher when you're ready uh, or when you're done cooking. Uh, here you go with the heating element. Now this is just like an oven. Uh, you've just got that big back and forth heating element and uh, basically you have what would equal out to be four bars that, that stretch across the whole thing. Um, a lot of times what I see are two hot spots like you would have almost like one bar here and one bar here and uh, it's not very evenly distributed because the center is usually pretty cold and then so are the outside edges where this one is spread out. Looks like the outside might still be a little cool, but uh, you definitely have a much bigger surface area that seems to uh, get heated, at least the way that it looks here. Um, and just to mention, the surface area on this is uh, 10 by 15. So definitely big enough to get a couple of really nice sized T-bone steaks, uh, a, a good handful, half a dozen maybe, uh, skewers of uh, shish kebab or whatever. Um, or you can have a couple of, uh, I, I would guess uh, you would be able to get probably uh, at least at least half a dozen or more burgers on this, depending on how big you make them. I make pretty decent sized burgers, so, so that's probably about right for me, but maybe you'll be able to get uh, a few more, maybe eight or ten on there, uh, depending. And, and then of course you can always throw on some, uh, some veggies and stuff like that, some onion and and uh, and uh, different kinds of peppers and whatnot. So lots of lots of room there for being an indoor unit. Uh, it's fairly low profile. It sits down fairly low. 
Uh, I think that's partially because of the drip pan that they have here. And as you can see, that's also removable. So another piece that you can just drop into the dishwasher and let it run. A lot of the other ones have the entire top piece, the heating element and all that is uh, one solid piece and it sits over top of a very large plastic drip tray rather than having something that can be broken down like this. So right now I'm actually kind of impressed. Um, it, uh, it and then it's and then it's pretty pretty simple. It's just a, it's just a simple bed. Uh, you've got the basically I'm assuming an aluminum bed here, uh, and uh, which would of course help to reflect some of the heat back up uh, to uh, to help with the cooking and everything. You have a uh, an off switch that is also temperature controlled. Now uh, these are little dots. They're they kind of uh, kind of resemble flames. Um, what these kind of like little dots on the knob here look like and then I'm sure those correspond to uh, uh, different levels of heat so if you want it at 300 degrees or if you want it at 400 degrees or something like that I'm sure those dots correspond to something like that um, of which is probably uh, explained in the book here but uh, if you're not sure again they have the number down there so give them a call if, if it's not explained in there properly if you have any questions and uh, then it looks like we have a little on light. So it'll let you know that it's on uh, while it's uh, plugged in and everything. And that way you're not accidentally leaving it on and, uh, you know, just running your electric bill up or uh, leaving a hot surface out there in case, uh, you know, you have it set out where other people might be able to brush up against it or drop something on it or anything like that. You can make sure to shut it off and, uh, you know, keep, uh, keep everybody safe that way. So uh, pretty, pretty simple, pretty straightforward kind of, uh, kind of thing here, guys. Um, not a whole lot to it. Uh, just like I said, just a handful of, uh, of pieces here. And uh, I mean, this isn't super heavyweight. Uh, this is a, uh, a, a cast type material uh, here. I, I'm thinking like a, uh, like a cast aluminum cast or, or almost like a pot metal type of cast. And uh, so, oh, yep, there we go. And that does that does line up. These uh, these little fins here uh, line up. Now they they are the same on either side, but they they do help it to set down flat. And of course the sides are rounded, so it sets down and kind of locks into place, so it doesn't move. But uh, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. All right, guys. Well, I think that'll do it for me today. Uh, my name's Cougar, and of course, this is the world of me in another episode of the uh, Bespoke Post series. If you guys want to check this out and check out Bespoke Post stuff, go ahead down there in the description below, and uh, it's going to be a link there. Uh, also, while you're down there, don't forget to uh, check out our social media, and also, you guys are more than welcome to leave some comments. Uh, what do you guys think of stuff like this? Do you have other ones? Are there ones out there that you've seen that are... Um, that you've used that seem to be really high quality or ones that are cheap. Uh, maybe they're from a um, well-known brand, but they just don't cook the food the way they should. Uh, you know, some of them, like I said, they have hot and cold spots all over the place on them and it makes it hard to cook. Uh, one area gets burnt, the other area is not even cooked yet and it's all on the same pan. Uh, so, you know, let us know. Uh, also, on your way down or on your way back up, don't forget to uh, hit all those buttons. You know, the ones to do the like, share, and subscribe. Uh, of course, the uh, liking with the thumbs up, the subscribing with the little icon floating around over here or down below, and of course, that bell icon that's down there so you know when we've got new videos coming out. And, uh, you know, share this with your friends, anybody that you think might be interested in, in either this product or any of the other products that uh, we've uh, put out there from uh, Bespoke Post. So, uh, yeah, that'll do it. I'd like to wish you guys all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye!